all right guys welcome to our channel code with sunny and in this video i will be talking about a binary tree problem where we have to maximize the product okay as the problem name suggests maximum product of splitted binary tree we are going to discuss its index is 1339 and it is a medium type problem of the lead code okay so i like uh, i recommend you guys to put this problem into a like a easier section uh, it depends upon the person that is solving this problem still if you are aware about the concepts of this binary tree how to find out the sum and how we are going to maximize the product which is our answer in this case the problem becomes much more easier and simpler for you okay so without wasting our time let's discuss this problem given the root of a binary tree you can see split the binary tree into two sub trees by removing one edge that is we are going to remove one edge any one of the edges of the given binary tree okay and after removing the edge the product of the sums of the subtrees is maximized that is we can remove any of the edge on removing a particular edge you can see there would be a like uh, two subtrees okay and the number of nodes is like greater than one so there uh, there always be uh, like uh, two subtrees when we are just removing a particular edge okay so when we are removing a particular edge we we want that the product of the sums of the subtrees is maximized okay that is uh, there will be two subtrees we will need to find out the sum of the node values for the first subtree and we need to find out the sum of the node values of the second subtree and we need to uh, like multiply both those values and we need to maximize this product okay and that is we also we need to be very much careful that we can remove any of the edges and we need to return the maximum product of the sums of two subtrees what is the maximum value of the product that we can get since our answer can be very large return it modulo this prime number okay the product is going to be greater than 10 raised to the power 9 plus 7 we need to return the value modulo this one okay you need to maximize the answer before taking the mod not after taking the mod okay so you need to be very much careful that when you just multiply the product it it may exceed the value of 10 raised to the power 9 plus 7 for the current age that is you need to be very much careful that when you multiply it the answer like you need to store the answers first and then find out the maximum answer and then take that maximum answer modulo this prime number and return that value if you're not uh, aware about these what uh, what should we do or what should be like sequence of the instruction that you need to follow no need to worry about i'm going to explain all that in this video so have patience and watch it so this is the examples that i will discuss later on for now let's look over the constraints how this is going to help us you can see that number of nodes is going to have the utmost value of 5 raised 5 into 10 raised to the power 4 and every node value is around 10 raised to the power 4 so you can see that uh, like uh, what is the maximum uh, value that we can get maximum value we can get is right around 5 into 10 raised to the power 8 in which every node value is around 10 raised to the power 4 and there are utmost 10 5 into 10 raised to the power 4 nodes so maximum we have the total sum of the node values of this binary tree is around 5 into 10 raised to the power 8 and when we remove a particular edge and find out the sum the product is obviously may exceed the given prime number okay so let's discuss this problem with the help of examples okay i have uh, drawn a sample you can see binary tree where we need to maximize the product value okay So first, let's understand this problem in a simpler way. Okay. So suppose we are going to remove this particular edge. So when we are removing this particular edge, what will happen is like let me remove this one, and you can see now that there are two subtrees. This is the very first subtree, and this is the very second subtree. Okay. So you need to find out the sum. Let's call it as S1, and you need to find out this sum also. Let's call it as S2. so you need to find out the s1 into s2 okay note that s1 is like sum of the node value like 2 plus 4 plus 5 and s2 is also 1 plus 3 plus 6 and you need to find out the product of s1 into s2 for every edge note that for every edge here you can see i have removed this edge right you need to remove every edge and check it out okay and if this is s1 into s2 you need to find maximize this product okay now the thing is like how to find out this s1 and s2 efficiently okay so what we are going to do is like we need to pre calculate the total sum of node values first okay so how it is going to be done perform a depth first search traversal and find out the sum of node values for this entire binary tree 
okay so let's find out the sum first and then i will just uh, explain how we are going to approach the answers you can see the sum is 1 plus 3 4 plus 6 is uh, 10 plus 5 15 plus 2 17 plus 4 21 okay now the total sum is like 21 okay now when we are let's say again like this was the first dfs traversal that we have done now again i am doing the dfs traversal uh, like the next time second time what we are going to do when we reach a particular node let's call it as this node 2 what we are going to do is we are going to say that uh, we are going to remove this particular edge like remove this edge and we are when we are removing this edge we have this like subtree sum this value and when we uh, like when we have this s as the subtree sum that is the current sum of the subtree then the remaining sum can be easily calculated as let's call it as t s total sum now the current subtree sum is s and the remaining sum would be like t minus s okay so here we got the product now the thing is like how to find this subtree sum efficiently okay so then you must be aware about that when we are doing a dfs traversal we can easily maintain the subtree sum how we are going to be how it is going to be done let's try to understand that like when we are doing a dfs traversal what uh, what will be happening over here it's like uh, we are going to move to this particular edge then we are going to move this to this particular edge now we are exhausted with the next nodes now here we, the dfs traversal of this node stops okay so what is the subtree sum up to this node like 4 plus 0 plus 0 0 plus 0 is like left uh, child node is null right child node is null we are going to return 0 so current subtree sum including this node would be like 4 okay and now again now if you got the current subtree sum as some value let's say non zero value or some value let's say here it is 4 now what we are going to do is current subtree sum is 4 t is the total sum of the node values then what is the value that is you can easily get the true subtrees like if you are going to consider this subtree with no with subtree sum value as 4 it means that you are going to discard this particular edge so this particular edge is going to be discarded now this is the subtree sum as 4 what is the remaining sum t minus s which would be like t minus 4 and what is the product t minus 4 into 4 you can see the 4 only one subtree is this one and another subtree is the entire one okay now let's move further to some more subtrees and check it out whether this is going to be like valid or not now when we are moving to this one again you can see this subtree sum is 5 and when we are going to discard this edge that is it means that i am going to include this subtree sum 5 into total sum is t what is the remaining subtree t minus 5 that is when we are trying to remove this particular edge you can see that there are two subtrees so one of the subtrees like uh, this one and other subtrees containing only one node right okay now let's move on to some more subtrees now this will be interesting how it is going to be done how the dfs traversal is maintained let's try to understand that it means that we are done with this one we are done with this one what is the subtree sum up to this one 4 what is the subtree sum up to this one 5 now this node has left child node as 4 right child node as 5 what is the subtree sum up to this node you can see that subtree sum up to this node will be sum of left child node sum of right child node plus the current node value it should be like 5 plus 4 9 plus 2 11 so it means that if we include this particular node that is if we consider this particular subtree sum the subtree sum is coming out to be 11 and t is the total sum of the node values of this binary tree then t minus 11 is the like uh, left another subtree like like if you consider this subtree the remaining subtree would be like this one okay so its sum is like t minus 11 right and what is the current subtree sum is 11 so this is the product we need to maximize this one also again so every time you are going to find out the subtree sum and uh, if uh, x is the subtree sum the t minus x is the leftovers uh, binary free leftover subtree whose sum is t minus x you need to maximize the product of uh, t minus x and x so just maximize it and it is going to be easily maintained with the help of dfs traversal okay now now the thing is like how to frame that dfs traversal code okay so no need to worry about i am going to explain this in the coding part also let's move further to understand that okay so you can see a accepted code over here okay so where i have optimized uh, trying to optimize the code okay so, so let's look it out how the calculation is going to be done note that i have taking the uh, defined like i have defined ll as long long because the product going is going to exceed the int max value so let's find out the maximum product 
then we are going to take it modulo this prime number right okay so what i have done is like this uh, the main thing is like we need to understand this dfs function okay so in this dfs function what i have passed is like uh, this is the current node and this is the total sum i think yes total sum and this is the answer that we need to maximize okay now the thing is uh, what uh, i am going to do is like if after every like for every node if the traversal is being done we are going to return the subtree sum okay so this is going to be noticeable like uh, when we are done with a particular node like every uh, descendants of this particular node is being traversed we are going to return the subtree sum up to this current node that is return this current variable which is going to return the subtree sum okay if you are not understanding this you can easily understand this current variable is going to store the returned value of this left subtree like some of the nodes of all the nodes lying in the left subtree and also some of all the nodes lying in the right subtree and the current node value okay and if we have got if you have got this current subtree sum our uh, like uh, we need to maximize the answer right so we need to find out the like maximum of answer the current answer found till now and sum minus current that is the sum of the remaining like that is left over subtree all the nodes sum and into the current subtree sum we need to uh, do this product and maximize our answer and every time we are going to return the current subtree sum you can easily see okay so in the max product function which is our actual function you can see our defined answer as zero and this sum will be passed the dfs root zero answer again you can see i have called this function two times okay because first i will be just finding out the total sum of this uh, binary tree node values which will be stored in sum and in that case i will passing sum as zero because it doesn't matter if you have put out this sum as zero this product becomes negative and since answer is initialized as zero maximum answer will be also like max of answer and this value will be zero it doesn't matter okay now when we are calling this dfs function again we have the sum as no some non zero value because it will be sum of some node values uh, okay so sum of some node values then in that case this value will be like non negative and we are going to get the maximum answer and if we are done with that then this answer may contain the values like greater than this prime number we need to take modulo with that also and finally return the integer value of this answer so this will give you all test cases first so if you have any doubts do let me know in the comment section of the video and uh, i will ask the viewers to like this video share this video and do subscribe to youtube channel for latest updates thank you for watching this video